trick or treat? Trick or treat. <laughs> Today we're going to make some pumpkin Halloween cupcakes. They're lower in carbohydrates and fats and higher in protein, so we're going to trick ourselves into having a healthier cupcake. And the treat part, well, it is Halloween and Halloween's all about candy and fun and kids and having scary spooky things. So I decided that we are going to treat ourselves and make a couple of tasty Halloween themed trays. We're going to make 12 cupcakes. I'm going to set my oven to 350 and I sprayed these generously with cooking spray so they don't stick. So while the oven's preheating we're going to get our recipe together. I've got separation here between my dry and my wet ingredients. I'm going to do them in two separate parts then drain them together. This we want to use all our dry ingredients and blend it so it's smooth not chunky. You can use a sieve or a whisk and do it by hand. I'm going to use this bar mix. So I have 60 grams of whey protein. I'll just use vanilla cellucor. Dump that in. I have 75 grams of gluten free oat flour. And in here, I've already made a nice little blend. It has about a quarter cup of sweetener. I've used stevia because it's a natural sweetener. I've used pumpkin spice, cinnamon, about a teaspoon of each, and then a teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of baking powder to help our cupcakes. Rice. Ha 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 ha. Just kidding. And I'm going to dump that in with the rest of our dry ingredients. And then close and blend. Let's do our wet ingredients. We have 60 ml of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Boom. I'm using pumpkin spice muscle egg. If you don't have it yet, go to muscleegg.com and order it or at muscle egg on social media pages. But if you don't have it yet, use just plain egg whites. This is 120 ml of pumpkin spice muscle egg going in there. Same thing, 120 grams of egg whites if you don't have it yet. One whole egg cracked right in there. Boop. And then my mound of pumpkin puree. I'm using 360 grams of pumpkin puree. The trick is if you're buying it from a can, the only ingredient it should say on the can is pumpkin. 100% pumpkin. Okay? Read your labels. So sloppy and gooey. Okay, get all that out. And then I'm just gonna put in one to two teaspoons of vanilla essence. Okay, all my wet ingredients are right in there now. I'm gonna use this whisk and oh, oven's ready, and whisk them all together. So there again, it's all combined and there's no chunky bits or anything that's separated. <sighs> Baking is hard work. <sighs> okay, so here we have it. Wet ingredients combined, dry ingredients combined, and then da 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 we mix the two. Oh, I spilt it everywhere. Oops. Oh well. And then once again, just combine the two and the mixture. Okay. Clean up your edges. Get all that goodness inside the cupcake trays. And then mix them off, bake them 15 to 17 minutes, and they're gonna come out nice and golden, orangey. 
and we're going to cover them with some delicious toppings. Only half of them, just a little Halloween treat. Oh yeah. <laughs> And it's time to think about how we're going to decorate some of them. And yes, I said they're going to be treats. It's Halloween. We need a little bit of candy and a little bit of goodness in there. So just some of them, not all of them. But I went to the store and I went a little bit crazy wanting to buy everything. But I didn't. I kept to the bare minimum and I found one, two, three, four, five, five ingredients that we can use to make a variety of different fun looking Halloween themed cupcakes. Old fashioned candy corn, white vanilla melting wafers, a black pen that's edible for gel writing, orange food dye, and some mini Oreos. Interesting combinations, but we're going to make some cool little creations here. Directions are on the packet microwave, melting wafers, 30 seconds, half power on a defrost setting and just continue to stir and repeat until they're completely melted. So, let's go. Cupcakes are ready and they are hot. So let them cool. I've melted my white chocolate candy melts. They're ready to go. And we're gonna turn half of these healthy, delicious cupcakes into naughty little Halloween treats. So I've covered half of my cupcakes in the melted white chocolate candy melts and I'm going to do the other half as well, but I don't want it to be white, I want them to be different. So I got some orange food coloring and I'm going to squeeze a little bit into my white chocolate melt and see what happens. Hopefully we can get a nice vibrant orange topping. Ooh, it looks like blood. To make these ones, I don't even know how much to use, let's just guess. To make these ones orange, I'm going to use a knife to spread mine on top. This is going to be interesting. with how they turned out and in Australia we actually didn't celebrate Halloween so when I realized that kids getting pillowcases full of candy was a real thing I felt so deprived remember to subscribe to my youtube channel youtube.com forward slash taste of Tennille for this and other amazing recipes with healthier alternatives on Instagram at emolution and on Twitter at emma wwe wow